Hi, I'm Chris, and I'm really glad you decided to check out my channel. This video is part of a series that I'm going to work on over the next 10 to 12 months or so to take you along on my journey of building our family cabin. I would love to share future videos with you, so if you want to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications, that'd be awesome. Hi, and welcome back to my cabin building journey. This particular video is about building our driveway. I designed the driveway to have a bit of a bend in it so that you can see our cabin from the road. This will give us a lot more privacy and it will also muffle the sound of any traffic going down the road. Here's an aerial shot so you can see what the driveway ended up looking like. And then I'll take you through the planning and doing of the actual work. Here in New Brunswick, NB Power will give us 90 meters of free power lines. So I designed the driveway to be as far away from the road as possible and yet stay within those 90 meters. I hope you enjoy this video. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, I'd love to hear from you. Here's the new driveway and there's the van. If I keep panning, there's the path that we used to use. And I cut down these. Unfortunately, I had to cut a lot of them. There's still some overhanging branches, particularly these ones over here that I'm probably not going to get away with. So most likely this big tree is going to have to come down because of those branches up there. We'll see on Thursday how it goes. So yeah, it just rained. This is our new driveway. It's a huge hole right there. You can't really see it very well in the video, but that must be about six feet deep. That's where the big tree stump was. So here's the driveway I cut. This is the old path that we used to come down. I'm going to close that up with some new trees. And uh, so tonight I'm going to have to level this, dig out um, a ditch on each side, or probably only on the high side, and dig down some uh, topsoil, get ready for the shale, and then transport it all the way down this way and store it for later usage. And then I have to go and dig out this driveway and put in some shale over here as well. That's going to happen on Saturday. So it's going to look very different once that is done. I'm really excited. There's been a lot of work. And uh, this should all get filled in tomorrow with uh, shale and then some gravel on top of that. It took me uh, probably about four hours, three and a half, four hours to dig this down. It's not perfectly flat, um, but it doesn't need to be. So right now I'm up at the corner and uh, I'm going to get started for the day. So this is where I'm at. This is about an hour and a half later. I moved around the corner and uh, down the driveway a little bit. So here's the corner. This is going back up to the van. So this is what it looks like this morning. I'm getting ready to start putting the shale in. I finished digging out all the topsoil and down about a foot to make a nice ditch on the side here. And uh, Peter should show up here within the next 10-15 minutes hopefully.
corner now. It's uh, 20 after 11 and uh, we just put in nine loads of shale. About halfway done. Turned out quite well, I have to say. It's a nice, uh, nice to work with, with the backhoe. So it takes about 20 minutes, 25 minutes to get a load in. And I'm usually done before Peter shows up again. So here's the bend and uh, the next load I'm gonna do with the backhoe just because I wanna give a bit of a curve uh, tilting down to the right because it's a, a corner. So unfortunately, after a few hours, my battery died, so I didn't take any more footage for the rest of the day. Uh, what you see in this picture here is the driveway right after I had cleared all the trees. Uh, I took the backhoe and dug down about a foot and removed all the topsoil. This is the front of the driveway after the topsoil was removed and the base was leveled out. A friend of mine has an excavation business and he told me that it was important that even the base underneath the shale should have a cusp in the middle so that any water that goes through the shale runs off to either side of the driveway to prevent the driveway from getting soggy and spongy. Here you can see that I've added uh, some fairly large boulders. Some of them were probably two feet diameter and about a foot high. And uh, I add, so I added a total of 12 inch of shale on top of the dirt base and then afterwards I covered it with some gravel. This is where I stopped working for the day. After I placed about 15 loads of shale, I added five more loads of gravel on top of the shale, which worked out to be about two to three inches. 
This coming fall, I'm planning on adding another couple of inches of gravel and have my neighbor do a proper grading with the dozer, but for now it's smooth enough for the construction process. This is what the end of the driveway looked like a few days later when I had dug out more topsoil and prepared the area where uh, we're going to park our vehicles when we're at the cabin. It's the same spot as the previous picture, but looking the opposite way. Uh, the building on the right is our storage shed and the cabin will go where the big pile of dirt is right now. Here I'm continuing to build the driveway with shale and gravel on top of the shale. Unfortunately it was getting pretty late in the year and we had to place the gravel when it was pouring rain. This caused a pretty nasty mess because I was never able to compact the gravel hard enough for the rain to run off. In retrospect I really should have waited with the gravel and just left the driveway with shale only over the winter. It's not a really big deal because in the spring after the gravel has had time to dry out I'll be able to compact it hard enough and it won't get soggy like that again. In these last two pictures I drew a quick mock-up of where we're planning on putting the cabin and what it will eventually look like or well what we're hoping it will look like. I really hope you'll join me on this journey and maybe if you're ever in New Brunswick you might even get a chance to swing by for a visit. Thanks for watching.